Hey guys, my name is Sid and welcome to another vlog. So if you guys don't know, I'm a huge drone enthusiast and I love flying my drones. And uh, if you guys have been seeing the papers lately in Dubai, they're making it more and more strict to fly drones here. But luckily I have my drone license. I actually made a video about it a while ago, but I never showed you guys because I thought I didn't have enough footage. But um, yeah, I'm going to show a bit of that video today, which was about four or five months ago. So I just got here to the Dubai RC Club where Sanat Academy is. got done with my desk it was pretty cool check out that brilliant sunset in the back I don't know if you can see it there we go so I hope I passed but I'm gonna take advantage of the situation and try to get some drone footage of the sunset and the desert and this whole place is pretty cool Guys, I passed my drone test, which is awesome. Sun of the Academy is the place where you go to get your drone license, to get certified that you can fly a drone properly. And uh, they do things like classes and stuff as well. So they're organizing an event today for drone enthusiasts. So I'm gonna take you guys there, show you guys a bit about the requirements that you need to fly drones in Dubai. And also, they should have some really sick drones over there. I know the last time I went, there's over 200 people coming with their drones, so it should be interesting. And I'll see you guys on the way. All right, guys, it was a bit of a struggle to find this place, but I'm finally here, I think. This place is like completely in the middle of the desert. And I came here once before for my test, but I, it was like, it's, it's on the Dubai Alain Highway somewhere. It's a bit hard to find. But yeah, I think right here. You wouldn't ever even be able to buy an RPS this size from Dragon Ball because everything was intended to be banned. And the only reason, the only reason that it wasn't banned was two weeks after the, that disruption that caused the, the, the mayhem in the public press, Sheikh Mohammed announced the Drones for Good competition, of which my friend over here was one of the winners recently. Mm -hmm. But back in the day, he announced the Drones for Good competition whereby he was giving away one million US dollars as a prize. And it couldn't be seen that Dubai bans this entity, but two weeks later, we're giving away a million dollars. So that's where I am, guys. And please, you've got my cards, he has brochures over here. You want to call me, you want to send me an email, you've got something that you're not sure about, call me anytime. Anytime. Thank you very much, Mark. And next up, we've got Yahya from the Ministry of Defense, who also has a few lines to say, followed by a question and answer session. Uh, we are doing a lot of things for safety. If I am your neighbor, your neighbor and I fly a drone over your house, will you be happy? Yes, I will be happy. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't have anything in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a rough house renter. So, you don't be happy at all, right? So we are here for that. We are looking for your safety before your home. I see a drone as a gun. Okay? If you have a membership in the gun club, you cannot carry your gun everywhere. Because I'm a member in the club. I think that's a, that's a very dangerous thing I see. It. And most of countries, some of countries, is forbidden at all. You cannot buy it or keep it in your house. But in Dubai, very flexibility. They want to... Uh, not to control you. you, they want you to enjoy in, in, the, in the good way, in a certain way that protect others. So guys, I'm actually here with Mike, he's from DCA, and these guys are the ones who do the regulation for the drones, right? Yes. And any um, uh, yes. vehicles that, have, that take place in the bike? Yes. So what advice would you give for aspiring drone hobbyists and uh, commercial pilots? What do they need to do right now Okay, so register? So th that's it. Basically that's it. Re register your drone, register yourself as a, as a hobbyist if you feel that you have a skill, a skill set to escalate up to a professional or a commercial operator. Come and do the skill set test and, and let's see if we can facilitate that. But the big thing, number one, is to register. Register, register, register. Register yourself, register the drone that you're operating. It costs you nothing and at least then you are legal. This is in accordance to the resolution number four signed by Sheikh Hamda. You need to be licensed or less registered within the Emirates of Dubai to carry out any kind of aviation entity and that's what we're promoting here today. 
Okay, great. Yeah. So I got myself registered recently. It's not very difficult. We, uh, you can come here to Sun of the Academy and they'll do a little course for you and they'll give you a certificate. You take that certificate to the DCA and they'll issue a registration license for you. Correct. Right? Correct. Pretty much. And, Correct. and uh, where would you recommend people to fly and fly? Okay, so when you when you come and collect that registration card, you'll be issued with a, with a, a small little booklet. The booklet is is uh, gives you information of, of uh, where you can fly and where you, where you shouldn't fly. It also gives you a map. The map demands marks what we call no-fly zones and sensitive areas. Outside of those areas, obviously within limitations, uh, we have no problem if you fly and, and that obviously includes that you need to have permission from if you're flying or if you're flying over private land, have permission of the landowner and do not, I repeat, do not encroach on personal privacy and on uh, um, uh, secure locations, for example, palaces and, 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 and secure installations. Okay. So if I want to, as a hobbyist, if I want to shoot something and put it up on my YouTube channel, uh, what is the regulation with that? Like, as long as it's just me in the shot or nothing sensitive or anything like that? Again, you know, you, you, you need to be able to withstand the, the, the test. If you are approached by a, a, a member of the, of the Ministry of of defense or any other security entity mm -hmm. and ask to reveal your video mm -hmm. and you must be able to say with with um, all honesty that there's nothing on there that can actually uh, cause you to be in trouble okay. and all we're saying as well is that when you post something on the social media mm -hmm. make sure that you've covered all the legal blocks it costs you nothing just to say that it's been done with mm -hmm. the approval of the DCAA okay. and at least then that that promotes the message of what we're trying to get out there is that mm -hmm. if you're going to do drone operations if you're going to fly drones whether it be racing or other mm -hmm. just make sure you've got the registration card and the permission from the Dubai Civil Aviation Authority okay and if I want to fly in those green zones which yes. are which require a permit yeah. what's like the procedure again shoot 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 us an email okay. and give me the exact location mm -hmm. uh, preferably uh, uh, attach to Google Earth so that I know exactly what we're looking at we'll do okay. the assessment and we'll come back to you and tell you whether it's uh, acceptable or not however and, and what's usually the time frame for that we can we do it in three working days we okay. can turn it around in three working days. Sorry, I interrupted oh, Sorry, you. I was going to say, uh, just remember that the sensitive areas are there for, for a reason. So it could okay. be a nature reserve, it could be the Flamingo Park, it could be any other installation that's deemed to be sensitive. So okay. uh, it's not that we decided just to change the color of the ink. We've got a green, uh, a sensitive area zone there for a purpose. And if you're not sure, please just shoot us a mail and make sure that you, you're on the right track. Thank you so much. Okay. And thank you for taking the effort and the time to thank actually you. regulate drone uh, for hobbyists. Yeah. I know it's a really difficult and challenging thing. So they just gave away a Mavic Pro over here and unfortunately I did not win. But uh, now they're planning to do a massive drone selfie. So yeah. So guys, just to remind you, this is our biggest drone selfie that we've ever done at the Academy. So is going to be flying with his blue jet. One of our son of the Academy has this crazy jet. Check this out. I've never seen anything like this. That is so cool. Damn, that's so cool. Yes. Check out the wings. This is my hand in comparison to the wing. A DJI. It's a DJI. MG1. Yes. It's oh, for damn. agriculture. And this is. Uh, this is the dashboard of the battery. Uh, 
to sit the point A to point B. Okay. So you can set it up, mm -hmm. and uh, it can uh, give you the speed of the drone and the speed of the spraying in the water. Oh, can that's what that thing is yes, below. Uh, huh? Yeah. So this is the tank, and you can put a 10 liter in here. So very cool. Hey guys, so I'm here with Mansoor. He's actually the owner of Sanad Academy or the director of Sanad Academy. Chairman of Sanad. chairman of Sanad Academy. And these guys have actually done the most for drone drone enthusiasts in Dubai more than anybody else. And they're the ones who organize this whole event today. So what made you get into drones? Thank you very much. Now this is first of all, uh, I don't consider myself uh, part of the academy. I'm a hobbyist at that. Right. So, uh, <laughs> I do have to think about other hobbyists, how, how to operate, how to understand the so the main reason of this gathering even to, to get the people uh, mm -hmm. to know Senate Academy and to create a community, all of us, where right. we can all uh, pass our, our messages to the, to, the, to, the, to other departments to right. change the rules. Even we can force them to change the rules if we all come together. Yes, yes we can do it. That's amazing. Yeah, so Dubai is actually one of the most con uh, least conservative when it comes to uh, drone licensing and stuff like that. I recently got my drone license myself thanks to Sanad. Okay, yeah, so that's really cool and I'm so glad you guys are doing it. I want to know about that plane that you were, you were flying. What's it called and, uh, and how much does it cost? Yeah, that, 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 that's a turbine jet plane. That's a, that's a sports plane. Okay. And, uh, but again, that, that's a hobby you cannot resist. <laughs> sure. This, this is the main problem when it comes to jets. Like, you cannot resist it. Yes, uh, I've been flying for 18 years, so I've been oh, wow. assembling my own my own uh, planes. Uh, so R is it RC? Yes, RC, RC turbine planes. So, okay. Uh, yeah, the, the, the pricing I cannot mention to you, but again... <laughs> <laughs> it's an expensive hobby, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, it is, it is an expensive hobby, but uh, once, once you know how to... Right. And this is again why, why, why we are here. We are here to educate everyone, right. whoever. Uh, in my days, we, we, we didn't, I didn't have simulator. I didn't have somebody to teach me. So right. I had to crash 17 planes just to learn how to fly. Oh, really? 17 so, planes? 17 planes, yeah. But wow. uh, now, these days, now we do have the simulators. And that's why we do yeah. have our, our uh, simulator rooms available for everyone who wants to come and learn. Okay. They're most welcome to come. Even if they want to come and uh, test their drones, they are, more, they are most welcome to come. and they but we can we can demonstrate it for them so we okay. are here to provide a service that for all the hobbyists great so i'm going to leave a link in the description for sun of the academy and that should have all the details if you guys want to come out here and fly your drones this is the best spot in dubai to fly thank you very much right. thank you yes. so i think it's time to bring on my drone unfortunately it's not as nice as these guys there's a lot of mavics and phantom pros flying around over here but uh yeah i'm just gonna fly and have a little bit of fun Are you guys on YouTube or something? We're, I'm gonna make a Facebook. Uh, this is this is gonna go on YouTube. So. All right. So shout out to RC Gadgets and AJ Aircraft. All right, cool. Two hundred seventy dollars. Okay. There's a smoke smoke pump for about fifty. What is this water thing over here? This is the gas tank. This has fuel for the ah, engine. Ah, fuel. This okay. This is running the 123 cc GP engine. Damn. And the servos are called MKS. You got HBL 380s in the back. On the Very cool, man. So guys, here they have some. Uh, these guys over here, are all uh, racing drone operators. So check this out. So this is what a racing drone looks like. These things are really small, and uh, they're super fast. And most of these guys use like point of view goggles to see where they're going, and like this, the fat shark. And then these are like the battery packs that they attach. Most of these guys, they make the drones themselves. These things are super cool. Check out these guys with the goggles. Right. What is that? Is that an antenna? Yeah, these are both antennas. So okay. all the directional attached. Oh, very cool. 
Okay. So you guys are blind when you have those on, like basically? No, we see everything the quad sees. <laughs> All right. We're nowhere near blind. No. So it helps you fly better? Is that what it is? Yeah, As opposed to like seeing a screen? Yeah. yeah. All right. You don't you don't get glare on But when you move your head around, it's not like VR, right? No, it, otherwise it doesn't have a gimbal stabilizer in it. Right. We could do it, but then you wouldn't know which way your quad's going. Right, right. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, me and you. We'll, we'll cut the cake. Alright, cool. Rosemary cool. Thank you. Nice. Good, man. I'm heading home now. And it was a really cool event. Hope this video was informative for you guys. All you guys were aspiring drone pilots. We're looking to buy a new drone. Uh, so basically, yeah, if you want to fly a drone in Dubai, just make sure you register with the DCAA. Don't fly in the areas that you're not supposed to. I'll leave all that information down in the description. And you should be good to fly. So I hope you guys like this video. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to watch more videos like this. See ya.